Russ Miller here in the studio in LA, and we're talking about the Vic Firth snare wire, brand new, produced by Cannabis. I have one here with me. And uh, what I want to talk to you guys about today is actually just the understanding of the snare wires and why we have to be cognizant of what we have on the drum and how to use them. This particular wire, again, is Japanese steel. It's a premium wire. It's produced by Canopus. And what we want to look for is a couple components of the construction of the wire first. So the first thing is, if all these strands, or the wires themselves, the strands we call them, are welded at the same length. And the way that you can do that is by a little test of snapping the wires. When you snap them tight, what you should see is all the wires basically stop at the same time, give or take. What you don't want to see is snapping the wire tight and then seeing one or two or three of them continuing to move when the other ones are not. We take a look at uh, the wires here, we snap those tight, and they all basically stop at the same time. None of them are continuing to move around when the other ones are. If I take a look at this sort of stock wire, you can see how there's about three or four of them there that are continuing to move quite a bit after I snap that in. And then what that's going to do is it's going to cause more sympathetic vibration in the drum. So if you hear that in your snare sound, that's kind of what's going on. The next test that you can look at is if the curls of the strands are in phase with one another. Now you can see with the cannabis built Japanese steel wires that we're using here, they're exactly in phase in a straight line. So I can take this credit card and they're perfectly in phase. This is just a stock wire again, like we were talking about. And uh, you can see how much the curls are out of phase there. So that will cause a little flutter sound in small notes on the drums. And then, uh, of course, the last thing is what material it's actually made out of, because that's a big part of the sound. So this is Japanese steel, and it creates a certain sound out of the drum. There's a lot of different uh, strand combinations and even some compositions of strands that create different sounds. So you have to kind of know what you're looking for with that. But at least we have an idea of what a good constructed premium snare is like. So I recommend that everybody takes a look at what came on the drum when they purchased it. Like my artist series drum with Mapex ships with premium snares. So we make sure that you know there's different levels of snares for certain drums, but you gotta check and see what's on your drum. It's really, really important.